Hey everyone, Mark here. We've just released a brand new motion tutorial called Drawing and Animating Shapes in Motion. It's on sale this week for $29, normally $59, and it comes with all the media and projects following along. So for today's Mac Break Studio, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and do an entire lesson from the tutorial and include the media so that you can follow along. There's a link below for the project file. So let's get started. In addition to acting as objects in their own right, shapes can be used as a source for other objects and behaviors. A great way to use a shape is as a source for the motion path behavior. Here, we have a project that contains a map for motions library and a deactivated plane shape that we'll come to shortly. Let's say we want to show the path of travel on this map with an animated line. Rather than using the line tool, select the Bezier tool. Click drag up to the right on the west coast of North America to create a smooth control point. Now, command drag up to the right on the east coast of Australia. This will be our path of travel. You can make open splines with the Bezier tool. Rather than clicking the first point to close the shape, press the return key to complete the shape. In the HUD, turn off the fill and adjust the outline width and color to taste. In the canvas, adjust the Bezier handles to create a curved line. In the layers list, rename the shape to Flight Path. Now, add the write-on behavior. And trim it to the duration of the deactivated plane shape in the timeline. Start playback, and in the HUD, change the speed to ease both, so that the line has a smooth start and finish. Stop playback and return the playhead back home. Turn on the plane layer. Our goal is to make the plane follow the same path as the animated line, exactly matching its speed. First, the plane is much too big, so select it. Press Shift-S to return to the Select Transform tool, and scale it down proportionally with the Shift key held down. Use the Scale display at the top left of the canvas to make it 25% of the original size. In the Layers list, if necessary, drag the Plane layer above the Flight Path layer. To animate a layer along a path, one way is to use the Motion Path behavior. Click the Behaviors button in the toolbar and select Basic Motion, Motion Path. Play the project. By default, the Motion Path behavior creates a straight path, which it calls Open Spline, as indicated in the Path Shape menu in the HUD. While you could reshape this line by moving and perhaps adding control points to it to match our Bezier path, there's a much easier way. Click the Path Shape menu. Here, you have options for a variety of path shapes. The key is the one called Geometry. Whenever you see the word Geometry as an option for some sort of path or shape, what it means is that you can use a shape. Select it. A Shape Source drop well appears. Drag the Flight Path layer to this well. Now play that back. It doesn't look quite right for two reasons. First, the plane isn't moving at the same speed as the line. In the HUD, change the speed parameter to Ease Both to match the speed parameter of the write-on behavior applied to the flight path. Play that. It now matches the animating line precisely, but it doesn't turn with the line. Return to the Behaviors button in the toolbar and select Basic Motion, Snap Alignment to Motion. Now play that. Fantastic. Let's add a drop shadow to the path to match the plane. Rather than trying to match two drop shadows to each other, let's group the objects and add a drop shadow to the group. With the plane selected, turn off the drop shadow in the HUD. Now, Command select the Flight Path layer, and from the Object menu, choose Group. Name the group Plane and Flight Path. Press F1 to go to the Properties Inspector. 
enable the drop shadow, click show to reveal its parameters, and adjust them to taste. One thing that is great about this approach is that any changes you make to the flight path line are passed through to the plane so that everything will always stay in sync. With the flight path layer selected, right click and choose edit points. Double click anywhere on the path to add a control point, or perhaps two. Now move the points around to create a different path for the plane and adjust the Bezier handles to change the shape of the curve. Play that back. To spice up this animation, let's add a camera to follow the plane. Go to the Object menu and choose New Camera and click Switch to 3D. With a playhead at the start of the project, select the plane layer, and then from the Camera menu, choose Fit Objects into View or press the F key. The camera moves close to the plane. If you play the project now, the plane simply leaves the frame. To have the camera follow the plane, we'll use another behavior. Select the camera, and from the Behaviors button in the toolbar, choose Motion Tracking, Match Move. In the HUD, a source well appears. Drag the plane layer from the Layers list to the well. Now play that back. The camera now perfectly follows the plane, which traces its path of travel. If you don't like the initial framing, you can adjust it with the Pan tool, which is the first of the 3D view tools at the top right of the canvas.